Well, this was unexpected. So one of the main criticisms of Super Mario 3D All-Stars is that it just seems to pretend that Super Mario Galaxy 2 doesn't exist. And I don't mean like it doesn't exist and that the game literally doesn't exist. It's that it really doesn't make sense to not have it as part of the pack. It is a direct sequel to Mario Galaxy. And if Mario Galaxy could be HD, why couldn't Galaxy 2? But there's hope. There is hope that Super Mario Galaxy 2 is actually included in in Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Uh, before we get into that, i got to remind you, we do have a giveaway going on right now. I'm giving away three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Uh, if you would like your chance to win that, go to the gleam.io link down in the description. You can also join our Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime for as little as $1 a month. Uh, you get you know, 15 entries into this giveaway. I'm going to be updating the Patreon tiers and the member tiers on YouTube as well for next month to include different levels of automatic entries plus exclusive giveaways just for our patrons and YouTube members. Now, we have a second giveaway for a Switch Lite. That's right, we're giving away a console. Uh, to enter that giveaway, you just do the laundry list of items that are down in the description, which includes subscribing to the channel, hitting the like button on this video, commenting on the video, hitting the bell icon, a bunch of stuff. You'll see it down in the description, a huge list of things to enter for that. There are two separate giveaways, six total winners uh, announced on October 1st. All right. So Nintendo Minute had a chance to uh, play Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Now Nintendo Minute officially worked for Nintendo. It's on the Nintendo YouTube channel. Uh, and they included a clip in their video showing the intro to... <laughs> to super mario 3d all-stars you know the little little five you know little five second ditty it does to like do to, to introduce the game well take a listen does that music sound familiar seriously does that music sound familiar well it should because it is from super mario galaxy 2 why would they have super mario galaxy 2 music kicking off the intro to Super Mario 3D All-Stars. After all, the game's not included in it, right? Or is it? Nintendo has done some weird things in the past. Hidden levels. Hidden extras that they don't even advertise. What if, what if when you beat Super Mario Galaxy? Or heck, what if when you get to the end of Super Mario 64 and you beat that, you get to the end of Sunshine, you beat that, and you get to the end of Super Mario Galaxy and you beat that, a secret unlock happens and you get to play Super Mario Galaxy 2. What if Super Mario Galaxy 2 was included the entire time and Nintendo just didn't want us to know? They wanted it to be an Easter egg. That was basically going to be discovered on day one when reviews went out or coverage or impressions or whatever, right? It would be discovered day one, the moment that the media is able to talk about it. Think about that for a moment. What if Super Mario Galaxy 2 is actually in this game? Or, you know, if it's not in this game, what if it is being teased because they plan to release it later as an add-on DLC pack? Or, what if they just plan to offer it as free DLC? Why the hell is Nintendo teasing Super Mario Galaxy 2 music. After all, there's not supposed to be Galaxy 2 music in the game. It wouldn't make any sense to have Galaxy 2 exclusive music in the game. Galaxy 2 is not in the game. So yes, you can play music from all the games, of course. And maybe the simple explanation is they just included Mario Galaxy 2 music in the game along with Mario Galaxy. But that would only make things more frustrating that we don't have Galaxy 2. Why would we be able to get, play Galaxy 2 music but not play Galaxy 2 the game? when we have music that's only available for the other games. This is why there are many, many theories going on, much speculation out there, that we are going to get Super Mario Galaxy 2 in this game at some point. Whether it's already in the game as an Easter egg that you discover later, or and you have to unlock, or, you know, as its own little, its own little ditty. You know, it's just a little ditty. It's just a little edit. It's just a little edit that uh, Nintendo Minute did. You know, Nintendo did. Let's not even say Nintendo. That Nintendo did. That Nintendo would intentionally inject Super Mario Galaxy 2 into this video, but it's not actually the music to the intro. Do you think Nintendo is that stupid? Is It is so stupid to throw, you know, in, in their official Nintendo Minute video to throw in Mario Galaxy 2 music and not realize it's Mario Galaxy 2 music? Do you think Nintendo themselves is that dumb? Chances are, 
And I've had independent confirmation that this is the intro music to the game. What does that mean? I'd love to tell you. I'd love to say I'm talking to people that are playing the game right now, and I can confirm to you or deny to you that Super Mario Galaxy 2 is in it. Reality is, the only person I know with the game won't tell me. You would figure it's a simple question. Like, if it's not in the game, it hasn't been teased by Nintendo, you can just tell me it's not in the game. But the NDA on this game is super, super tight. Why is that? Why would the NDA on this game be super, super tight? These are games that already exist. We can go play them right now on virtual consoles. We can go play the original games. Like... You know, a lot of people still own Mario Galaxy on Wii. Like, you play it on your Wii or just last gen's Wii U. Why, then, would there be such a tight lip in the NDA? On, like, you know, you figure they should just allow media members to have free reign with this game. They should be able to talk about and show as much of these games as possible, drop the reviews whenever, because, hello, these are games that already exist. Why be so tight-lipped? Could it be because Nintendo's really trying to hide this surprise? to get a double whammy of press on launch day to kind of be like, oh, you thought it was just a three, by the way, we have a Galaxy 2 as well. Now, yes, we see the menu of the game, and the menu does not have Galaxy 2 in it. But again, Nintendo wouldn't show that if they don't want it yet. It could be unlocked later. It could be a game and a soundtrack you don't get until after you beat all three games. Just, just throwing that out there. Nintendo has done some crazy things. They've done some crazy things. I mean, there was an entire level in a Zelda game once. That was dedicated to a fan. There have been a lot of strange things. Strange, strange things. I mean, heck, the only way to play the one Star Fox game, at, you know, at the time anyways, was to buy a SNES Classic, right? You know, you wanted to play that one Star Fox game that never released back in the day? Buy a SNES Classic. We, now, we knew about that. Of course, Nintendo advertised that it. it was a selling point for the system. But you get my point. We don't know. What Nintendo's doing? Why is the NDA so tight-lipped? Why is Super Mario Galaxy 2 music just slipped into the menu? Or just slipped into the intro, I should say. I I don't know. I wish I had the answers. But I don't. And nobody really does. All I know is uh, I'm ready for this game to be here, man. This Friday. The official release date. Get those preloads ready. Get those pre-orders in. If you can't do the pre-orders, show, show up at the shops. You know, right at opening. Try to get a physical copy if you need it. This is uh, kind of weird, but I'm super stoked. We are in the midst of the release, a re-release, of three of the best platforming games of all time. In kind of, sort of, HD. Sort of. Because 64 is in widescreen, but still HD, it's weird. And it's in like the lowest HD, 720. I, I, don't, I just I don't understand that. But you know what? That's a criticism. We're going to keep it positive here. What do you think? Do you think Nintendo's slipping? Super Mario Galaxy 2 into this game? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video.